Did you hear Dabo Swinney trashing Tennessee? Why does he always do this to himself from Frankfort, Kentucky? Capital of Kentucky, by the way. That fools a lot of folks. You get in those state capital quizzes and you drop Kentucky on them, 99 out of 100 casuals are saying, Lexington? Eh, oh, Louisville. Eh. Well, there's not another city in Kentucky. Yeah, there is. And it's called Frankfurt. So anyway, back on Dabo Swinney. Dabo, I'm just going to have them play you the audio. So here's what I'll do. We'll tee up the audio. I don't even know definitively what this was. Maybe it was his coach's show. At the very least, he is speaking publicly, okay? So Dabo Sweeney is looking ahead to Clemson's game against South Carolina this week. And he was speaking within the context of what South Carolina just did. They just beat Tennessee into a coma. Here's Dabo Sweeney and some of his comments on that game last week. Take a listen. And they're like, okay, we beat South Carolina, we beat Bandy. They're in the playoffs. You know, they're flipping burgers at the house, you know, uh, having a cold drink, you know, watching watching the championship weekend. Uh, what are we? Are we three or four? Where are we going? You know, are we in Arizona or are we in Atlanta? And next thing you know, you getting that you, you forget you got to go play. Uh-huh. And uh, but man, I think you just I think you just got to give all the credit to South Carolina. I think they just flat out kicked their butt. Some people have a problem with this, and I really don't know why. First rule, you can talk all the trash you want to as long as you got to line up against the other guy, which he, well, I guess he doesn't play Tennessee. But my, my point there is, forget about rule number one. Rule number two is, just be real with me. Dabo's just being real with you. You know, there's this group of folks that, that cannot have it either way. I got a group of folks out here. Not only college football fans, but like in the actual college football media ecosystem who swear to you they can't stand coach speak. I hate these cookie cutter generic press conferences. I'm wasting my time. They might as well just give me a press release. They say that, and I agree with them. But then they listen to a guy like Dabo Swinney who has no filter whatsoever. He's become paranoid to the point where he won't even hardly do interviews. I'd love that he is my number one wish list candidate to have on this show. And we can't get him. He won't do interviews. But when he does talk, he's real with you. And what are you complaining about? So the question there was, why does he keep doing this to himself? What is he doing? Would you rather him put the muzzle on himself? Would you rather him filter himself? He said what everyone else is thinking. He said... Tennessee went in there and got scalded because they almost showed up forgetting they had to play a football game. Then he gave South Carolina credit. Like, I, I heard that last night, I, and I did not even add it to the rundown. Like, I told the staff, we're not going to talk about that. There's nothing to talk about. But then a lot of you asked about it. So there you go. Like, there's the clip. I don't really get what the big deal is. Now, they got a game against South Carolina Saturday. They'll win. They'll lose. It will have nothing to do with that soundbite. I'm sure it'll be played at some point during the broadcast there on ABC. But... I, I am a fan of the way Dabo Swinney carries himself. Now, as you well know, in politics and sports these days, if you say that, the standard is perfection. So if you say, hey, I like this guy, the other side, unless you're talking about a literal angel who has never committed a single sin, they will say, well, what about this, 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 and this? I ain't telling you Dabo Swinney's perfect. I'm not telling you any coach is perfect. I'm saying in, a, in an ocean of imperfect humans, including in the coaching industry, I happen to like the way he carries himself. And I always appreciate when coaches are real with you, especially when they know, oh, man, this is going to get me in trouble. This is going to cause a little stir. This is going to beat the hornet's nest with a stick. And they say it anyway. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Not just for me. That's how we keep this entire thing free.